Hello and welcome to another Beehive feature update where I'm going to cover our brand new custom signup redirects feature. This will be useful if you have a post signup journey that you want to enter your user into. So the user signs up and then you want to redirect them to a thank you page on an external website or you want to have a little bit more granular control over the different screens within Beehive that the subscriber sees once they sign up. If that doesn't sound super clear, then keep watching and we'll show you what that means. To access the custom redirect settings, we're gonna to go to settings on website under advanced. And now we have this brand new subscribe flow settings. By default, we're gonna have a couple different steps uh, that you're able to modify and edit. Essentially, if you've been following along, you'll know that we now have forms that you can set up to show a subscriber when they sign up. It's our survey forms feature, but you can set one that shows and collects information directly upon user sign up. We have our recommendations page where if you have recommendations set up, users will see those recommendations as part of this journey. If you have a premium publication, you have this upgrade page, and then we now have this custom redirect that once they've gone through those steps, or if you turn off those steps, once they sign up, they'll be redirected to uh, this custom page. So we're going to walk through each of these and show you what that looks like once it's implemented. So the first step, let's say if I turn off all of these and I don't want to remove my recommendations because that's a pain, but say you didn't have recommendations or you wanted to turn them off, you could remove them and then turn it off. I'm going to turn off the upgrade flow. So let's just go through and take a look at what this will do. Before, when a user signed up, I would take them from the sign, the subscribe through to the survey form, then they'd see recommendations, then they would see the upgrade page, and then they would be redirected to the main homepage. With the new experience that I just set up, users are gonna be subscribed, they're gonna be taken directly to the recommendations page, and then after recommendations, they're gonna be taken to the custom redirect, which in this case, I've set to be beehive.com. There you have it. So if I go back to this site, I can turn this back on. I can turn on the survey. I have to select the form and re-add the survey. Now, if I go back here and I enter email address, hit subscribe. Now I'm going to be taken to the subscriber registration and then to recommendations, now to the upgrade, and then lastly back to the redirect, which I've set to just be the Beehive website in this case. There we have it. So, in this case, you can turn off all of these recommendations. We have made that you have to remove your recommendations in order to turn it off because otherwise it defeats the entire purpose of having recommendations. And then, of course, if you don't want any custom redirect, you just want people to be redirected to the publication index, you can turn this off and that's all good. So for turning this, you can see this reverts to homepage. But if I wanted to make this, I can make this any website. I can make this ESPN.com. Maybe uh, this is another website of mine and I want to include UTM parameters. I can do that. UTM source equals beehive and UTM medium equals referral. I could do that. So I have a tracked link. And then the other option here, if I want to, I can go back here and edit it. And then for subscriber registration, if I ever want to change that, I can hit the edit button and change the survey form that's going to show up there. And there you have it. That's a pretty thorough walkthrough of our custom signup redirects and how to not only turn them on and off, but also edit them. Hopefully this is helpful as you design your desired user experience as they go through the journey of becoming a subscriber. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. We can't wait to see what you build.